Hi folks, this is Rose from the Rose's Garden and today in the mail, I got my bargain bee box. So I'm really excited to see what this is, month is in store for us. So let's turn down and we'll take a look. So here is our, um, our paper, which tells us what we've got. It says the bargain bead box art deco, deco lux. Your beads, inspired by the glamour of the Roaring Twenties, this package includes black, gold, teal, and green tones with a touch of pearlescence. Black agate and onyx teardrops combine with agate beads, coated hematite, we especially love the chevrons, lab-created shell pearls, sparkling crystal accents, and high-quality gold findings in Art Deco-inspired teardrop motifs. Now, if you are a, get the Bargain Bead Box, of course, then you get this 30% off coupon as well. Um, it's a code that works all month long. You can use it as many times as you want, but it's exclusively for the people that have Bargain Bead Box. Now, if you don't have Bargain Bead Box, you can subscribe monthly for $19.95. It's a really good deal, in my opinion. There are lots of really pretty pieces in here. So let's turn this over, and here is our key to what we have in here. And here is our package. Let's get the tissue off and see what we've got in here. Well, we have a black bag, which Usually, the bag is an indication, of, sort of, of what we're going to get because uh, it usually it mimics the beads. Usually, mimic the bag. So let's dump these beauties out. Looks like we're going to have 17 items, so we need to get these in order, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got them in order now so we can see what we've got here. It says number one is a 8 inch strand of 5.5 by 6 millimeter hematite man-made coated chevron beads. So those are cool. I'm not sure that I care for them being coated. I like the black hematite, but that's pretty. And I can see myself using that for sure. So that's the number one, the chevron hematite. Come on, go down in there. I don't want your string hanging out. Number two is a 7.5 inch strand of four millimeter finely faceted hematite man-made AB rounds. Now see, this is how I prefer my hematite. Isn't that pretty with the nice shimmer all over it? I like that. I like that a lot. So that's number two. Number three is a one is one meter of three by two brass oval jewelry chain. Oh, this is the tiny stuff, but it's really pretty. I've always, I love their chain. I always appreciate it when they put chain in because I use chain in a lot of designs. Come on in there, baby. So that's Oops, that was number three, which I just dropped on the floor. Okay, that was number three. Number four is 50 pieces of four millimeter brass corrugated bicone spacer beads. Well, those are pretty little spacer beads. I love me a spacer bead. Let's take a better look at those. See their little... Those are cute. Oh, and I'm gonna throw those on the floor too, it looks like. So that's number four. Get those closed before I dump them anymore. 
Number five is a 7.5 inch strand of eight millimeter white shell pearl man-made round beads. Well, these are look just like some pretty pearls. And even though they're man-made, they're not glass, they're actual shell. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. So in back into your bag, my pretty pearls. Why is it nothing ever wants to go back the way you got it? Ah, oh, well, this string is just going to stick out. I'll just cut it off. There we go. Fix that string all up. So, number six. Oh, that's a cute little toggle. Is a 16 by 18, 18 karat gold plated brass swirled teardrop toggle clasp. I like that. That's a little different than normal. That's pretty. That may end up having to be a front clasp piece again. I like that. Six. Seven. Is a 28 by 15 millimeter gold, 18 karat gold plated brass filigree teardrop pendant. Now this is really pretty, but it's also extremely lightweight. Um, I think if I, I will of course probably use it as a pendant, but if I do, it is going to need some dangles to add some weight to it because it's just way too light, but it's really pretty. So that was number seven. Number eight is two pieces of 19.5 by eight millimeter gold plated brass filigree teardrop charms. Again, extremely lightweight, but oh, these are really pretty. These are gonna make some excellent earrings. Very, very pretty. I really like those. This is number eight. Number nine is 16 inch strand of six by four millimeter crystal faceted rondelles in jet and gold. I've never been really fond of these ones that have the, co the colored coating on them like this, but this black and gold works. That's pretty. So 10 is a 15 inch strand of eight millimeter black agate dyed and heated round beads. Well, they may say these are black, but they're not entirely black. See, we got some browns and some grays and I like those various colors in there. Those pretty. So let's get these back in their bag. But I like these. Come on, baby. You behaved better than the pearl. Now, eleven is four pieces of 17 by 11 stainless steel open teardrop charms golden. Okay, these are really pretty. And weirdly enough, even as thin as they are, they've got a hole up here in the top. Though I would think you might wanna be careful with that because that's pretty thin in there. But boy, it's pretty. I like those teardrops. Now, I really like these pieces, but I gotta say they're a little smaller than I'm used to having. So that was number 11. Number 12 is a 15 inch strand 
of eight millimeter glass pearl beads in teal green. Those are pretty. Nice color. Definitely will set off the black, so not everything is just black and gold. Though black and gold is a great combo. Anyway, that's 12. 13 is two pieces of 17.5 by 13 millimeter onyx, onyx dyed and brass faceted teardrop charms. Those are pretty. Those are really pretty. To decide how I'm going to do those into earrings, because I am. But 14. 10 pieces strand of 10 millimeter crystal faceted barrel beads, jet black. Ooh, look at the shimmer on those. Isn't that pretty? And that is a barrel bead, as you can see. Oh, I like these though. Hmm. These are going to turn into something elegant, I can just tell. So that's number 14. Number 15 is an approximately 37 by 21 millimeter black agate dyed faceted teardrop pendant. That's pretty too. There's a lot of pretty pieces in this box. Sixteen is seven inch strand of ten millimeter red, excuse me, no red, black and white agate, he dyed and heated faceted rounds. Ooh, they didn't mention gray. Wow, I love these agates. Aren't those pretty? These are gorgeous. 17, lastly, 20 piece strand of 8 millimeter crystal faceted drop beads in teal AB. I don't know why they call them drop bead. Well, they're not quite round, they're almost like a little pear. Again, really shimmery, shiny. So, I just wish that this green match to this green because I think our greens are all different greens. Let me get the hematite out too and see what's what's what. Oh it's almost a cross between the two. So yeah they're all slightly different greens but I like these of the, of the three, I like these best. These sparkly guys. So that is our bead box for March. And I gotta tell you, I liked just about everything in here. I can't think of anything I disliked. Um... I wish they weren't quite so lightweight, but um, I really like these black barrel beads. I'm not usually a lover of black things, but I really like those black barrel beads. I suppose if I had to pick something I liked the least in the box, It would probably be these chevrons. I know they really like the chevrons. And I like the chevrons as a shape and to use for different things. But I'm not sure I like them in the teal color. I would have preferred them to be left black or gray. But I still like them. They're not something I definitely do without. But um, they're not a favorite. As far as a favorite is concerned... 
Hmm, that's a hard one. There's a lot of nice things in here. I really like these black jet black barrel beads. But I also really love these agates. Those are really pretty. I also like this uh, toggle. But, and I love these little guys, even though they are really lightweight and we're going to have to do something to, to make them a little heavier. I'll probably hang something right down through the middle here. But they are really pretty. So yes, there's lots of gorgeous goodies in, in the bag this, this time. Though if you don't like black, well, <laughs> sorry, because this is mainly black, other than the few greens and the white and the gold pieces. Of course, the gold pieces, though, are accent things, so. But, yeah, beautiful box, beautiful box. So there you have it. There is our bargain bead box for March. And, oh, pretty beads. Well, if you like black, I like black. So I think these are going to be fun to work with. We'll see you later. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we've been in unboxing the March um, bargain bead box Art Deco Luxe. Bye bye.